Welcome back to our channel. Today we will take you along our 5 days in the Côte d'Azur, also known as the French Riviera, which is located in the south of France. For the duration of our stay, we booked a beautiful beachfront hotel in a small village called Raoul Canadel sur Mer. If you want to learn more about what it's like to stay at a luxury hotel in the south of France, click on the link in the description of this video. Due to our long journey, we arrived at the hotel in the late afternoon. So after unpacking our bags, it was already time for dinner. Dining at restaurants in the Côte d'Azur is, compared to other European countries, quite pricey. But the food, wine and atmosphere were exceptional. We started our first full day with a walk to the bakery that we spotted near the bus stop when we arrived. The French Riviera has a lot of hills and smaller mountains, so the walk was a real workout. If you've ever been to France, you know that French bakeries offer a wide variety of breads, sandwiches and pastries. Of course, we had to try a few different things, sweet and savory, and everything we tried was so fresh and delicious. We loved the bread so much that we bought some more baguette for lunch and then we went to the town's small supermarket to buy some French brie to eat with the baguette. Back at the hotel, we immediately checked out the beach, which is located right by the hotel. We were so impressed by how crystal clear the water is and how clean and well maintained the beach was. The water is a little chilly, but once you're in it, it was so refreshing. After a long day at the beach, we went to the gym from where we had amazing views of the mountains and the sea. For dinner, we checked out another restaurant, which is located right by the beach, perfect for a romantic date. We started with a vegetarian tartlet and a sea bass ceviche, had rigatoni and a steak as a main course, and super delicious pear tart for dessert. The food here was excellent and the views almost unbeatable. We started day 3 with a breakfast on our terrace before heading back to the beach where we spent the first half of the day reading and enjoying the sun and the sea. In the afternoon, we went to our hotel's pool, from where you can enjoy beautiful views of the ocean. For dinner, we went back to the restaurant where we went to on our first night to try some more options from their menu. We had a tomato tartare and beef ravioli to start, sea bram and veal as the main course, as well as a chocolate and apricot dessert. I started our last full day with another walk to the bakery and the supermarket. Since the water was so clear, we had to buy goggles to go snorkeling. 
Once a week, there is also a small farmer's market where they sell fresh produce as well as fish, cheese, jewelry and even clothes. After another breakfast on our terrace, we made our way to the beach to try our snorkeling gear and to see if we could spot some fishes and the waters of the French Riviera did not disappoint. We were able to spot a few different fishes and we were so impressed by how clear and clean the water was. We then had lunch at our hotel's pool bar. We tried the Greek salad as well as prawns and french fries. We have to admit that the fries we had in France have been some of the best we've ever tried. We spent the rest of the day by the pool, soaking in the views and enjoying the sun. For our last dinner, we went back to the restaurant by the beach, where we watched soccer, ate clams, pasta, octopus, and another pier tart, and ended the day with watching a beautiful sunset. On our last morning, we decided to try our hotel's breakfast buffet, and it was one of the best hotel breakfasts we've had. They offered a variety of breads, French cheese and ham, as well as pastries and fresh squeezed juices. We enjoyed the views before taking a last stroll around the neighborhood and getting picked up by our Uber. Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.